Hi everyone, welcome to the new video. So this question is most of the time asked uh, in DevOps interview that uh, what is the process uh, that you have followed for doing production deployment? And most of the time, you know, the in end result is same. The process slightly, it, it differs from organization to organization, but uh, the most of the things are similar. So today we'll understand the process of doing production deployment end to end uh, so that you can frame your answer accordingly and uh, give your best shot when this question is asked. So yeah, let's go. We'll understand this process of product deployment from a DevOps perspective. Okay, sometimes uh, there are different teams for dev for the lower environments different devops team is handling and for the prod different team is handling the prod deployment but we should be aware about the process because this you cannot this answer won't be acceptable that if an interview you say that you were not the part of the prod deployment so you should be aware of the prod deployment and you should take keen interest in understanding the prod deployments which is very important to understand so before the prod deployment day is there uh, it is decided that on which day the deployment is going to happen before that day we need to make sure that we have tested our pipelines in the lower environments we have done the deployment using our pipelines in dev then uat qat and then staging so that our pipelines are tested and we get a sign off from a pipeline that we can use this particular pipeline for doing the deployment and production we have to capture the evidence the important pointers that we need to keep uh, that we uh, came across while doing the deployment in the low environment and we think that it should be an important evidence to be captured uh, which will be helpful in doing the prod deployment then uh, the team uh, usually before the day before we are reaching the day of prod deployment we uh, 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 lay down or you know have a clear uh, instructions of doing uh, the prod deployment and we need to take a sign off on it that what all the things we require what are the prerequisites uh, then how we will be uh, doing the uh, deployments what all pipeline has to run in which uh, sequence it should run uh, which tool, uh, where our images will go, where the credentials are, everything, it, that document should be a brief or you can, everything should be contained that uh, from where the credentials are going to be picked up and everything. And if in case our pipeline fails, then there should be a manual deployment step procedure also in that instructions. In case the deployment fails, we should have a rollback uh, uh, process also or steps also that should be mentioned in that prod deployment instruction. It can, those instructions can be hosted at a common place like Confluence, which is generally used by organization to keep uh, public documents for their organization, okay? Uh, so that anybody in that organization can access so that common place it can be kept so uh, uh, we need to make sure that all the credentials uh, which we need to make the deployment uh, possible like the um, the cluster credentials to connect to the cluster because our pipeline will need the credential to connect to the cluster or you know docker credentials here to store docker images or to pull docker images or any credentials any secrets which are required by our application so how it should be accessible in in uh, the deployment every credential should be in place and for it should be dynamic like we don't have to make any changes in code while doing the prod deployment it should be dynamic everything should be dynamic okay and whatever uh, like just our pipeline should be like by, by just clicking uh, uh, 
by just doing one click and uh, selecting the environment on which we have to do the deployment everything should happen so uh, no manual intervention should be required that kind of pipeline we should design all required tools like you know whatever the artifactory or whatever the vault everything should be accessible accessible those connections should be established uh, and should be checked valid cr cr change request is must because before doing any prod deployment a cr a valid cr should be provided which should be checked that whether it is properly approved on time or not everything and before after that only we should proceed for the prod deployment whatever image we are going to use uh, if that image is tested in dev uat Q80. The same image will be used in production. So, how to use the same image? Either uh, you know, uh, maybe uh, there is a different repo where the images of uh, productions are kept. So, we need to make sure that that image is there so that uh, uh, so that our cluster can pull the image from the correct repository because we have configured the um, in our deployment the repos from where uh, the images are to be pulled so we need to make sure whatever is mentioned in our deployments in our yaml files everything is uh, present okay the branch so that branching strategy is already decided that from which branch uh, the deployment is going to happen and who, uh, who has the access to do the deployment uh, who, uh, so those things are already decided but just I have added this pointer because that's very important a branching strategy and from where we are going to deploy uh, the in production and the code is up to date and it is tested rollback strategy should be in place so even if our prod deployment uh, fails if for any reason if uh, we have a uh, we already keep a backup or we already have ca captured the image that was previously running in production so that even if we have to revert the changes we can uh, revert it as soon as possible and use stable image or artifact uh, or either a jar or any artifact like jar or whatever however we are going to do the deployment the stable or the backup should be kept already before doing any changes the backup everything should be captured so that uh, if we have to do the rollback we can uh, do it instantly those everything should be planned and uh, captured so that after the failure we don't have to search for things that will lead into delay once the deployment has been done through the pipeline monitoring pods that pods are up and running there is no error no crash loop back of no pending no resource um, resource deficiencies there everything is fine uh, all checks like application is up and running and logs are clean what i whatever expected outcome was it should be there so and this is how the process prod deployment actually happen and i hope the process is clear so uh, how it happens and how the pipelines are designed so even if you uh, need to uh, know something else if related to prod deployment which is not captured or which is not covered in this video please do let me know in the comment section so that's all for today's uh, video. I hope it's helpful. Please let me know your views in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye.